This is the new face of the Republican movement in Northern Ireland, a woman who was born 40 years ago at the height of the so-called Troubles, the low-grade war between the British Army and Loyalist paramilitaries on one side and Irish nationalists on the other. Introduced by Gerry Adams, who was very much involved in the armed struggle for independence, Michelle O'Neill then represents a generational shift for Sinn Féin, with no association with paramilitarism. For me to be selected to lead our party in the North is truly the biggest honour and privilege of my life. I feel an enormous responsibility on my shoulders. And while I don't underestimate my task, given the changing political world locally, nationally and internationally, I will not let you down. The door to this new beginning opened with the stepping down of Martin McGuinness, who quit his role as Deputy First Minister in the power-sharing agreement in Belfast and then announced he had serious health problems. Mr Martin McGuinness, the provisional commander in London, Derry, was on hand... Mr McGuinness, widely respected in Northern Ireland, was himself an IRA commander when Michelle O'Neill was a girl. Across Ireland, many voters remain wary of Sinn Féin because of its historical links to the IRA. So, with that link to the past broken, the big question is whether Sinn Féin's new leader can convince more people across Ireland for the case for independence. Both Martin McGuinness and Gerry Adams have signalled that there will be a leadership change. That leadership transition has been exhilarated because of Martin McGuinness's ill health. But I think uh, Michelle O'Neill stepping forward uh, is a further indication uh, of that shift in the uh, Republican mindset uh, from conflict to peace. Outside Sinn Féin's overarching ambition for Irish independence from the UK, there are more immediate concerns for the new leader, trying to keep the power-sharing agreement together with elections in just six weeks. The looming Brexit and its effects on Northern Ireland, coupled with worries that it could affect the entire peace process. It's a small country, but it's a big job. Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera.